Yeah. Hello everyone, I hope you are safe, I hope you are doing well, I hope you had a great summer. For me, it's been a really great summer. I've gone back to my country, I've taken two months of vacation. It was really great, I've traveled, yeah, it was really a great experience. And I'm now back, it's been like almost three months or three months I haven't made any video. And this is gonna be uh, my first video since I've taken my vacation. And it isn't really great news, but I'm gonna be breaking down anyway. So today I'm gonna be talking about my Forex funds and about all the platform. Like I'm gonna be breaking down how all those platform works. And I'm also gonna be talking about how my Forex funds uh, got shut down by the US law right so let's get into it so basically what program they do is they have accounts right they, they offer like account where you can get funded and make money from it and it depends some program the smallest account might be 5k some of them might be 25k it depends from one another so let's say for a program like my forex firm they had 5k minimum account and they had 200k max uh, 300k i guess 300k maximum account so what happened is you have to purchase the account based on a fee right let's say 5k might be uh, 50 usd you purchase the 5k for 50 usd and then you have to pass phase one phase two like you have to prove to them that you are the, you are a great trader and once you do that you have to give you what they call by a live funds they will give you let's say a 5000 live account if you are able to pass a phase one and phase two or if you gone or or if you've gone for 300k and you pass a phase one phase two they'll give you a 300k live account they call that live account you have to trade make money from it and you can request your payout and yeah this is how basically those program works but there is uh, a dark side of program is that let's break it down even from the account you are buying so if they offer 300k account need that uh let's say if you get funded they'll give you a real 300 live account right but there's one thing they don't have like a maximum uh 300k that you can buy you can buy an infinite amount of 300k i hope that makes sense so if they can buy an infinite amount of 300k let's do the calculation really quick yeah so if they offer 300k every single time let's say 300,000 and then if 10 uh, 100,000 people get the 300k 100,000 people get the 300k that's how much money as you can see for them to give 300k funded to 100,000 people that's 30 billion usd right 30 billion usd and we all know that 30 billion usd for someone to take 30 billion invest in my forex fund is not gonna be easy so basically they don't have that much money to even fund people because they don't have like a maximum amount of 300k people can buy so you can you can literally buy an infinite amount of 300k so from that concept already meaning that they don't really have much money to even fund all of those clients that's the first thing so if they cannot then what really happened they don't have uh enough money to give people live accounts and even if they do uh they only give you a small room they tell you okay you cannot lose lose more than five percent of uh, let's say five percent a day or twelve percent overall if the whole money is really a live account one why can't you lose more than this if you cannot lose more than this then it's not sure that that, that 300k is really a live account that's the second thing and the third thing is what they usually do is we know that in trading we have 95 percent of traders who are actually losing money right 95 percent plus so that 95 percent plus they buy challenge maybe 100k 200k 5k they buy challenges and whenever they lose all those challenge where does that money go it goes to my forex fund they get that money and that money is way too much money if i come back to this article that says that uh my forex fund ran away or let's say stole or fraudulently taken over 300 million from customers you can see that they've taken over 300 million uh from fee that's only the fee people are paying so all those traders who are losing money is already up to 300 million all right 200 million and from that 300 million they use this money to now do a give payout to those people or to those five percent traders who are making money because 300 million loss and those five percent they cannot make more than 100 million like the whole money they can be making can't be more than 100 million so they take like 100 million goes to 
payout and then the 200 million plus from fee remaining that's the money that goes straight away to my forex fund like their own money and that's how the ceo is getting himself a car or whatever yeah all of this stuff all right i think it should be yeah yeah yeah, yeah it should be here purchase luxury home automobile yeah all of this stuff so that's how it actually works and to even prove that what i'm saying is true i go to ftmo right you know ftmo also one of the biggest uh perform out there i don't know if it's the first or the second one but the, the most important thing i want to check from ftmo is if you look down here they have payout to ftmo traders they have 150 million and if ftmo is more expensive than my forex fund based on the fee when you want to buy they actually obviously more expensive than my forex fund and they have more customers compared to my forex fund so ftmo can easily get over 500 million let me delete all of this ftmo can get over 500 million uh from fee that's fee they get from client especially all of those people are losing cut uh, 95 percent of those people are losing so they get all of this fee which make it like 500 million half a billion and these are the payout they, they gave to traders so the whole payout it is just 160 million so where is the remaining money all the remaining money it is a profit like it is a profit so when a trader gets payout from those profit they don't make money they lose money when you get payout so 95 percent lose uh, from those fees and the five percent they make money especially if you make money here yeah, they lose some money from the fee but the overall they just make money from the fee they do not have any money to give you a live account really really important to know so my forex fund if the, if it wasn't the government to tell them to stop uh, operating or whatever they they haven't really gone let's say broke or whatever because they still have money they took 300 million i don't know how much money they paid out maybe 100 million if they do pay 100 million they still have 200 million in their bank account right but then uh they cannot access this money anymore so if they cannot access the fee money they cannot pay traders so that's the reason why my forex firm is not working anymore i can even go to the website you'll see what it says uh yeah as you can see yesterday we learned that without uh, prior notice or discussion like they didn't tell them anything and the pro provincial security regulator in canada and community regulation in the united states issued order preventing them uh trading security and accessing funds in their bank account so all the 300 million is now seized or not really 300 million because they already paid some traders out might be 200 million remaining or whatever seized by by the u.s government and the canada government so that's usually what it says here and one more thing i want to talk about is that there is a part that says according to this this, this yeah this is what i'm getting here the complaint also alleged the complaint also alleged that traders global actively minimize the likelihood that customers trade profitability profitably by using protex and terminate customers account misleading accessing commission that reduce customers account equity secretly using a special software to cause customer order to be executed at worst price so that's also one thing uh i don't know which kind of uh personal account you guys are using for me i use xness if you want to try it out link in the description of this video so what they really mean by this is you know that when you trade uh let's see personal account for me when i trade xness i have a zero spread account right i do not get any spread but there is a commission makes sense but when i have my stop loss here price come it hit my stop loss exactly hit my stop loss where i put my stop loss at but when you trade profit my forex firm whatever they have what they call by slippage price goes against you the trade is never closed until some they add some drawdown to your original stop loss and then now you get triggered i know that happened to a lot of you guys yeah even to me it did happen a lot like i have a stop loss here but my stop loss get triggered somewhere up here meanwhile there is no news there's nothing so when that happened it is not your fault but it is my forex fund or whoever broker you are trading with right now like as uh, a problem right they use a software to delay your order execution if you want to enter let's say your entries here but then they trigger you up here or they trigger you down here 
it does happen or your server is different so they use a special software to make sure that you lose more than uh you intended to lose you see what i mean so they made everything in their favor daily drawdown slippage and all of the stuff to make sure that you lose and when they lose they make money from what the fee that fee that's where they make the money from and that's literally pretty much all the problem like how they work every single even ftmo is literally the same thing uh my funded effects who which trade uh no matter which broker no matter which platform you are using it's almost the same thing they use but then the question is should we keep using platform or not for me i still use platform i was funded with my forex fund but then i even had like a 50r <laughs> trade with my forex fund like i had it like today and tomorrow they closed the account like i cannot actually trade anymore and i think i'm actually gonna make a youtube video that would be maybe after this video if i can make it yeah these are the trade i had it i took some partial 90 percent here and the next day yeah especially and the next day yeah i cannot close the trade anymore they remember i cannot close i cannot withdraw there's nothing i can do so for my forex fund i think they are really gone there's no way they win that case but which profit work are we supposed to keep trading profit yes we can still trade profits mm, you're still gonna trade profit but you are going to see most of them getting shut down again by the us and canada especially those are based on one of these two countries and yeah and i think one more advice i can give you guys is get funded with a profit let's say hundred thousand like if right now i don't have my forest fund account but i'm still funded with uh nova founding i think you've seen some of the video where i can actually pass any account size using a bot so if you are interested into getting funded with nova funding just dm me on instagram and i can make it happen for you so let's say i'm funded with nova funding right hundred thousand so what i'm gonna do is the goal is just to make money let's say if i make uh, fifty thousand, which is 50 percent of the account size i cannot make 50 percent of the account size within one month even if i can hit 100 or 200 a month but i don't hold full volume 200 or hope that makes sense so if the overall within six months or one year if i make uh, 50k from nova funding then that 50k i prefer maybe putting 25k in my own broker like a personal broker and then the 25 uh 25k remaining i can maybe launch some real life businesses what i mean is don't just count on profit get funded make money get your payout and take that payout now build your own life like if even if you are funded up to a million with a company and if you haven't made a million dollar profit don't say that you are a millionaire yet i hope that makes sense because they can just disappear overnight like literally any company can disappear you have the example by you have the example with uh, ftx i think it was the second largest cryptocurrency just disappeared overnight even binance can actually go to zero someday which is actually possible there's no company in the world you can say that they are like they can never go to zero that's literally impossible even eu you see here can literally go to zero if something happened to the europe or to france or the, let's say europe in general so i think that's literally done for the video hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you